Uh, what's going on, everybody? Um, I wanted to talk about Verso Paper. Um, it's sometimes I buy really small positions in companies. Um, sometimes, if you look at my Walgreens here, that's basically just a dividend that ended up uh, turning into something because I used to own it. This I don't know why I bought it. I bought that a long time ago when I was just starting out. This right here, again. Uh, I was just starting out and I put a little bit here and I haven't touched it and I'm probably not gonna I don't know why I keep it I mean what am I gonna do with it it's so, such a small amount that I would lose all my money on the fees anyway so it just kind of it's kind of like a trophy I guess but the the idea of verso paper and the only reason I'm showing you the other ones is just because my screen capture software won't allow me to go any smaller but with verso paper they acquired um, another paper company and it Basically, both the companies were in serious debt. Verso Paper was sitting at 62 cents a share for a long time. I bought it at, I think, 62 cents a share. Um, I didn't buy much. I bought 142 shares, and a lot of that, I bought a little bit with, uh, it was all from profits off of uh, the Q4 trade I had, the penny stock trade that I had. Um, so I bought this with the profits from that. Um, and then... All of a sudden, today, I go on, and I'm just kind of checking it out, and I'm like, what the hell? You know, it's, it's up 382% from where I bought it. It's in at $3.21 a share. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell it tomorrow. I, I, I feel like based on, like, how much money they're going to be bringing in, it would be stupid to sell it. I mean, their biggest competitor, I believe it was their biggest competitor, they just merged, basically. So... I mean, their projections for the amount of money they're going to be making is, is very good. Billions. But, but the problem is, I don't think either company is making money. And they, I mean, I know they're not. So if they combine, are they going to be able to make money with basically a dying product? A company um, that sells paper in the digital world. You know, that's what I have to worry about right now. Um, it's, it's, I think I'm going to sell tomorrow. I have my sell order in. I could cancel it if I wanted to. Um, it's it's not a lot of money. I mean, I only have ninety four dollars into this. Like I said, it was just a. It wasn't all the profit from Q four. It was just something I was reading about. I was looking into. I had seen that at one point they were like six dollars a share. I think. Um, and I was like, man, with all the money they're bringing in, and they're bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, but they're spending more than they're making. So I was like, maybe it could double up. So I just, I basically bought it for a double up. I had no idea any type of merger or any type of acquisition was happening. It's just lucky, I'd say. But right now, I'm sitting at $361 profit if I sell it where it is. Um, you know, my sell order, I believe I put at like $350 something. Um, and I may never even sell this. I may never get a chance. It may go back down to 60 cents a share, and I'll be right where I was. But for right now... There's something to think about. Will it go up further with the potential that it brings to the table now with all the money? Um, there's a lot to think about, and uh, maybe that's why I'm make, making this video. You know, if you guys happen to see this before I do sell it or before I don't sell it, whatever I decide to do, because I'm really conflicted, maybe you could give me an idea of what you would do. Um, you know, I don't really need a lot of opinions on my 0 0.37 shares of Walgreens that I have left or my 1.36 shares of Universal Insurance Holdings. I'm, I'm, I'm alright there. But when it comes to Verso Paper, I'm a little confused. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, you know just being on this channel, whatever. And I look forward to talking to you.